Hi friends, this is NJ, a host on this channel. So we will continue our discussion around different minor arcana cards. We have already completed our discussion on the suit of pentacles and we have begun our discussion on the suit of swords. And the card which we are going to discuss today is the three of swords. So before we start our discussion on understanding this card, just a quick recap of all what we have studied so far. We have already discussed that tarot is basically used for doing character analysis, to get a glimpse of the future, to get a solution to immediate confusion and it also helps in doing meditation because it has been believed that the divine preside on these tarot cards. Now when it comes to understanding the constituting numbers which makes up these tarot cards, the, their components, so they can be divided into two chunks, the major arcana cards and the minor arcana cards. Arcana is a Latin word which means secret. We have already completed our discussion on the major arcana cards which are in total 22 in numbers and they tell about the universal theme and the more impactful and the long lasting events. But when it comes to understanding the impact of these energies which makes up our daily lives, you know our finances, our anxieties, our relationship, then you need to study these minor arcana cards. These 56 minor arcana cards can be divided into four suits. The suit of wands which represents the fire element tells about the action, creativity and the movement. Next is the suit of cups which represents the water element tells about your spiritual experiences, emotional relationship. Next is the suit of uh, sword which represents the air element tells about your intellectual pursuit, your thoughts, your reason and the last is the suit of pentacles which represents the earth element and tells about your finances, your security and the stability. Now each suit there remains to be in total 14 cards, the aces, next there are you know uh, 9 numbered cards from the card number 2 till the card number 10 and the 4 court cards, page, knight, queen and the king. In our this discussion on the suit of swords, we have already discussed the ace of sword which tells about the mental clarity, fortitude, respecting justice, ethnic principles. We have discussed the two of swords which tells about person by himself avoiding the truth, blocking his emotions, not acting on the situations or uh, you know uh, circumstances. Now we will have our discussion on this three of swords. So as you can see in this illustration that on a stormy weather this heart is being pierced by these three swords. So what we can derive as the divinatory meaning from this illustration. So you know this card in itself is a negative card. This card just tells about all the situation of heart breakup, loneliness, betrayal. When someone has you know stabbed on your back, you know someone has betrayed you, someone has left you dejected, you know someone has you know kind of uh, uh, make you go through heavy losses and he has kind of deceived you at the time when you were left with no hope, no expectation, you are left with no optimism in your life. So this is all what we get to know from this card, this is a negative card which tells about all the kind of you know troubles in relationship, quarrels in relationship, infidelity, heated arguments, debates, all that can be seen from this card in an upright placement. Any point of time this card will come out to be reversed in your reading. In a reverse formation as well, there remains to be, you know, all the cases of and situation of sorrows, quarrels, you know, a confusion, but the intensity will get little bit lessened as compared to its upright placement. So combining everything, this card is a negative card in an upright placement just tells about all the situation and the circumstances of heartbreak up, loneliness, betrayal. And in its reverse formation, all those situations will still remain but in a lesser intensity. Whenever it comes to understanding the real life situation where this card can be fitted in the lives of the people. So all those kind of situation where someone has, you know, come to you for a reading and uh, the person just wants to get the energy scanned of the person he is dating. So let's say for example, someone who is on a dating spree and, you know, he wants to get married and he's just meeting people, getting along and trying to find out his soulmate. So the person is not sure of someone who has recently met and he has started dating. The mere appearance of this card is a very negative sign. Same ways, someone who is uh, on a lookout for a partner to start up his own business or in a venture and this card has come up. So this card just tells about that there remains to be high chances, vulnerability of facing losses and dejection and backstabbing in the partnership. 
so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the three of swords this is a very negative card and i hope you got it right so for further more updates and notification on tarot please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks shivo